Okay, so the first thing we need to do in this second part of this tutorial is we need to create some guidelines for ourselves. So as we draw the side view and the front view, the eyes, the mouth, the top and bottom of the fish, everything lines up. So I'm going to go up to my layer window and add a new layer. And then I will take my ruler right here. And if my ruler is at an angle, I will double click on one of these buttons to straighten that ruler out. I'm going to select my pencil and I will go change my color to blue. And I'm just going to zoom in a tiny bit. And then I want to make sure I'm on the, um, the top layer right here, which is going to be. I'll just call this lines. All right, so I'm just going to take my pencil here and draw that line all the way across. That's for the bottom of the fish. This is for the very edge of the fins on the sides. I'll do one for where the mouth is, and kind of where the the top of this fin meets the body. Do another line for the bottom of the eye. Another line for the top of the eye. A line for the top of the rear fin and the top of the fish. And a final line for the very tip of that fin at the top. And actually, I want one more line for the bottom of this tail fin right here. I'll change my color to red just so that I can define what that line is for. There's so many lines down here, it's kind of hard to tell. All right, so now uh, I'm on the lines layer. I'm going to actually just, I think, lock this layer. And that way I can't um, draw on that layer. And I'll switch to my outline layer. And I will take my pencil, but I'm going to switch to black. So I use blue lines here. And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. And actually, I'm going to close the brush palette and the layers. I'll even close the toolbar here. So here's my pencil line. And I'm just going to come in here and attempt to draw the profile of the fish. Now, what I've set, by drawing this first drawing here, I cannot change the height of the fish. But in terms of the length, that's up to me. And the profile from the side view is up to me. I just can't change how high I draw the fish. Okay, So I'm going to come in here and just draw kind of a, an oval shape. I think I want it to be kind of less rounded here. Let's see, the mouth is down here. It's all very loose. Just kind of seeing what I like. He's got an eye in the front. We need that. We need his fin on the top here.
So from here, I'm just going to grab my eraser real quick. I'll go over here, take the hard eraser, and come in, clean some of this stuff up. Try and get a better sense of the shape, the profile, the side view profile here. See this, can't go any lower than that. So I'll go back over here, take my pencil, and and I forgot to put in this fin on the side of the fish here, so I'll do that right now. Try going with that. work on the mouth just a little bit here. I'm just switching between my eraser and the pencil. I'm going to just draw in a pupil here. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So what we'll do is we'll just bring our toolbar back up and I'll bring my layers up. I'm going to unlock this layer and then I'm going to hide it. Take my outline layer and actually what I've done is I've put my sketch on my outline layer. It should be on the background layer. So let's turn this layer on. And I'll select the outline layer. I'm going to take my selection tool here. I'm going to hit Command X to cut. Click on the background layer here. Hit Command V to paste. And then move this over. Now what I do need to do is bring these lines back. So I need to go here, display these lines, and then go back to the background layer and make sure everything is lined up. So I want to make sure that the fin right here matches up with this bottom blue line. The fin at the top matches up with that top line. And then I can take the opacity down on this. I go to this, turn off or hide this layer. Then I'm going to draw my final outline of the fish in the side view. I'm going to draw that on this layer right here. Make sure you're on the correct layer before you start this. I'm going to select my paintbrush, zoom in here, and start this painting process.
So I'm just going to continue to paint here and I'll clean up these lines after I'm done. go in and use, do I have my flood fill? No, I don't. So let me bring this up real quick. Switch to my eraser. I'll resize my eraser. And come in here and clean up some of these lines. I think I'm going to switch this. I'm going to change this. I want to just make it more of a curve. So I'll go in here, grab my paintbrush. Take my eraser. And then up here, I think we should have a line extending from the top like that. There we go. I'm going to come in here and change this line. That's going to bring us to the end of part two.